Who's that? Please do not trifle with people's lives. Somebody's gonna get hurt real bad! Who's that? Can we just leave these alone? Let's win this! Hurricane Strike! Hurricane Strike! Oh. Ow! Hurricane Strike! You're all! Hurricane Strike! <laughs> well, we won! This place must be closely connected with the demon world somehow. Ronix, it's time to open the door. Right. We're going in here? Come on, Millie. You are braver than that. <sighs> You're right. We've got a world to save. Let's move! Eris, I hope you're watching. My parents, my sister, I will avenge you all! The Featherfolk girl? She was a useful tool to me, but dead? She means nothing. You monster! You made it this far! Go ahead! Try to entertain me! Keep focused, everyone! Ooh, now what? Healing! She 
Ricochet! Thank you for defeating him. The one who abused my name is gone. I have no regrets. What are you talking about? I am Argosy, the true face of the Crimson Shield. What? So who were we fighting all this time? That was my shadow, you could say. What are you talking about? Near the close of the Demonic Wars, I received a secret mission from the King of Silverland to find the hidden treasure of the old race. But when I finally discovered the Mirror of Incarnation, I realized it was no treasure at all. The Mirror created a shadow form of my own body and used it to control my every move. <sighs> I used to lose all memory whenever the shadow took over, but now the shadow and myself have changed places. The shadow's gone now, isn't it? So you can make up for everything you did. No, not without the Mirror of Incarnation. And besides, I don't have long to live. I am sorry. Forget about it, young Featherfolk. This was destined to happen the moment I was caught inside the Mirror of Incarnation. But there is a more important matter at hand. Astral is in mortal danger. What? You must hurry. The Archfiend is after the bladeless sword I entrusted to Laius long ago. A bladeless sword? We can't afford to let his warning go to waste. Let's go back to the castle right now. Do you think we can make it back to Astral in time? Couldn't we use the Eye of Truth? It was made for opening holes in space, wasn't it? I suppose it's worth a shot. <laughs> that toy's a little too much for you children. 
hand it over to me now, why don't you? What? Not if I can help it. If you dare to stand in the way of my king's orders, I will take all of you on at once. <laughs> this isn't good! I hope we can do this! want it so badly. I heard that the bladeless sword was the weapon that sent the Archfiend back into his world in the Demonic Wars. He mentioned that he entrusted it to a man named Lias. Who's he? My old man. Let's go. I'll lead the way. You can get the whole story from him. This is the sword that Argosy gave me during the Demonic Wars. The bladeless sword? He wasn't kidding. This is nothing but a hilt. Can I see it for a second? A beam sword. And a high-powered one at that. I've never seen anything like this. I was told it is an old race relic. He wielded it in the battle where we drove the Archfiend back into his world. This is it. Our ace in the hole against Asmodeus. Agreed. It's probably the one thing he fears the most. I'm sure it will be best in your hands, then. Don't relax quite yet, though. You may have the means, but you haven't won the battle yet. Thank you, sir. One moment, if I may. I hear my son guided you here. Yes, he did. Hmm. Well, sorry to keep you. Be careful. Yes, sir. Thank you.
behind us! Can we just leave these alone? Stay out of our way! Hurricane yeah, strike! Yeah. Not ah, hurricane hurricane strike! Hurricane strike! Wait, you don't wish to fight! Them. Even if that makes me a hypocrite! Let's fight! You're fighting us? Truly a necessary battle. We cannot ignore this, can we? We'll just have to break them down!
beginning still lies ahead of me! this pretty modern building whatever it is so this is where we'll find asmodeus this looks a little out of place for a demon world what in the world mad science in motion that's all i can say What's the purpose of all this? I've seen a lot of these monsters before. Ah, it's alive! I wonder if this means Asmodeus is conducting monster research. We cannot ignore this, can we? to avoid battle if I can.
be careful. Everyone!
easy, easy, easy. This isn't good! I must protect all of us. We cannot ignore this, can we? We'll just have to break him down! This is some kind of research log. Let's see if there's a way to access the central data bank. Welcome to the space-time laboratory. What would you like to do? Space-time laboratory? What's a high-tech facility like this doing here? Something's going on here. Something a lot bigger than just monsters trying to take over the world. to data bank. Please enter your name. Name? Triasmodius. I don't know. Good morning. Asmodius. Please enter your password. Dang, it worked. This part might be a tad harder. Access denied. Please enter your password. Well, no dice. Login time expired. Warning. Activating alarm system. Expired? This can't be good. They're turning the security system on us. Rokians! What is your business here? To kill Asmodeus, of course! <laughs> you really ought to know what he looks like before you say that. For Asmodeus would be none other than I. I must admit, I am fascinated to see someone attempt to storm the demon world. If you can catch me, I'd be happy to entertain you. 
You, take care of these guys. We're surrounded! We have been surrounded! Uh. Hurricane <laughs> strike! <laughs> take the oh, hurricane yeah. strike! <laughs>
Keep focused, everyone! We'll just have to break them down! Rah! Hurricane! <laughs> we must escape! <laughs> 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 You've made it. Asmodeus, why did you attack Roke? What do you gain from fighting us? All you're doing is hurting yourself. <laughs> why indeed? I'd like to know the reason myself. Don't play mind games with me! I'm being completely honest with you. I'm being driven by all these contradicting impulses, and I don't know what to do about it. Well, why can't you just find a way to coexist with the Rokians? Why should I have to share with them? I hunger for it all. The water, the wind, the trees, the land. I will never be satisfied until it is all mine. The weak have no right to any of it. Not worthy to even grasp a single blade of grass. Why does power and strength exist in the first place? What use are they if you don't use them to fulfill your desires? If you want to stop me, why don't you show me your power? We cannot ignore this, can we? Hey, hold on a second! <laughs> power against power. I think I shall enjoy this. Dragon Hurricane Thundercloud! Impossible. How could a superhuman like me lose? <sighs> you have the bite to match your bark. Don't move. Who are you? I don't have to answer that. Just stay where you are. <laughs> well, look at the dog that crept into this stable. Move. Get the sample from Asmodeus while we still can. Yes, sir. Captain, I think that's the third party. I'd say you're right. We better do what they say. It's already been established in history that they'll take the virus back with them. 
I don't think we have much choice. We have no idea how powerful they are. It's all I can do to maintain eye contact with them. It could be a facade. That's just as valid a military tactic as any. Mission accomplished, Captain. Good. Captain, what about these guys? Leave them. Our mission is to get the sample and get it out of here. Fall back! You all right, Millie? Yeah, I'm okay. Who was that just now? I, I couldn't say. What were they all doing here anyway? Let's worry about that later. Ilya, the sample. Agreed. Now we can finally make that serum. Well done, everybody. There is no doubt in my mind that history will laud you as heroes. We have a long road ahead of us before we can hope to attain true peace. But the fall of the Archfiend that threatened our very existence can only be a blessing for us. Un Thank you, Your Majesty. We sure have been through a lot, huh? You said it. But it's a little weird, isn't it? I mean, seeing traces of an advanced civilization on the demon world? There's also traces of an advanced civilization on Roke. It's not outside the realm of possibility to imagine some advanced race teleporting into the demon world as well. I guess. Ah, you're such a worry wart sometimes. Then again, it's gotten our ship out of more than a few scrapes in the past. We'll have to leave everyone tomorrow. I'll miss them. We'd better leave early in the morning. That way they won't see us go. What's wrong, Roddick? Um, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to leave everyone without saying anything. What else can we do? It's not like we'll tell them the truth and they'll just say, oh, well, see ya. I mean, we can't tell them that we're from 300 years in the future. They wouldn't have any idea what we're talking about. I know it's not the nicest thing. It's really best if we just disappear from their lives. Let them think that we were all just some kind of pleasant dream. But that won't make their memories disappear. I mean, I don't know about you, but I know I'm never gonna forget them. <laughs> Deep down, we all know that. Even the captain does. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get going. Am I? You're cured. I am? Hey, nice work. Yep, now we can save everyone else, too. Guess I'll be taking my music box back then. What? Come on, I thought you gave that to me. <laughs> all right, all right, keep it.
So spring's already passed by, huh? So it has. I guess this is goodbye then. Yes. But aren't you guys gonna be in a heap of trouble when you get back? I mean, dealing with us and everything? Well, I called in some pretty big favors from the Admiral, and he had our insubordination charges dismissed. The Admiral didn't want to abandon Roke either. We came through for him, so he came through for us. Well, thank you all very much for everything. I'll never forget you, I promise. Well, this is it then. I doubt we'll ever see each other again. See you, Millie. Roddick? Are you serious, Admiral? Dead serious, Captain. I... I can't believe it. A ship! claiming to be from Planet Fargit, suddenly appeared in Alliance space and called for our immediate surrender. So that's who the third party was? It is. We passed the ship's first recorded coordinates to our science team, and they confirmed the presence of a wormhole in the area. I believe that Fargit lies on the opposite side. Hmm. <laughs> Fargit is currently under the dictatorship of G.A. Ravorce. A superhuman created through genetic engineering. G.A. Revorce, sir? Revorce is an unpopular ruler. There is a large opposition force working against him. If we can find a way to get Revorce out of the picture, we should be able to avoid war with Fargit. How do we know so much about Fargit, Admiral? The opposition group I mentioned has made contact with us on a strictly confidential level. What? I've been informed that Fargit's current invasion of Alliance space is being spearheaded solely by G.A. Revorce. In response, we will launch Operation Stardust, a tandem project between us and the opposition forces to assassinate Revorce. Captain Ronix J. Kenny, you have been appointed head of the operation. Yes, sir. There are some problems to deal with. G.A. Revorce apparently has the power to nullify all optic-based weaponry. He also has a high resistance to all forms of explosives. So, can't use phasers or bombs to kill him? Right. We'll have to resort to more primitive measures, I think. So, even if we deployed a special forces squad, the best hope they'd have is taking him on in a one-on-one -on -one knife fight. That's correct. You have my permission to use the time gate. I doubt the gate would let us use it to carry out an assassination. That's not what I meant. I'm talking about using it another way. Well? Looks like we'll be calling on him again after all. Man, I'm bored. That's a good thing. It means all's well. Say, did a... Uh... Did something happen between you and Millie? Hmm? What do you mean? Listen, I'm telling you this because I'm your friend. That girl's stubborn, she flies off the handle over nothing. And on top of that, who the heck knows where her mind is half the time? And who would that be? Oh, uh, nobody. <laughs> Quit complaining about me and get to work. There's nothing to do, Millie. Father said he needed help gathering herbs over on Matorx. He did? Oh, all right then, I'll go. Just me ought to be enough. Shh. 
sure is quiet around here. All that stuff we saw is like a dream. Yeah, you got that right. Hey, did you see that? Over by the Celestial Ship! Something just lit up! What? Roddick, wanna go check it out? I have a feeling something happened. Sure, let's go! Hey, didn't think we'd see each other again. We need to ask you another favor. What do you mean? So, that's why we're here again. Well, I'm all for it. But are we gonna be enough? No, oh, you don't need to worry about that. Huh? This is okay? Doesn't the underdeveloped planet whatever forbid this sort of thing? We've got an Alliance Admiral's official go-ahead this time. That's how urgent the situation is. Now, off to Fargate. Fargate? I was briefed about this earlier, but it sure isn't a very hospitable place to live. Agreed. Most of it is wasteland, really. Is that why they're trying to invade Earth? To get more resources? If that were the case, you'd think they would try engaging in trade or colonizing an uninhabited planet. 